Scientists now stating that Mount Etna in Italy is slowly sliding into the Mediterranean Sea. Now, the study confirms that the entire volcano is shifting and that at some point, not immediately, but at some point down the road, this will slide into the sea, triggering catastrophic landslides, devastating tsunamis, and really, it's just a part of the natural flow here on planet Earth. Things like this are going to happen. Let's be thankful we have the science, the technology to be able to see these things in advance to be able to prepare for such an event. Now, there's not much someone could do if you're right there at the volcano when it erupts. But try to get out as quickly as possible. Anyone that's right there in the path of the flow, obviously, it's not going to be good. Uh, also, inhaling any of the smoke being downwind from any of the smoke from a volcano, it could turn the lungs to concrete rather quickly. But when you're talking about an event like this, it takes time to get a bead on what's happening. And it took 12 years to figure this out where they had set up a series of uh, different uh, bits of equipment all over the volcano tracking this. And now they're saying that this has been moving at an average rate of half an inch or over half an inch a year. Now, they're saying that it's headed toward Jara. I'm hoping that I pronounced that right. But this town is in the crosshair, and the rest of it looks to be sliding toward the sea. So this reminds me of the Canary Islands. If you guys look at uh, maps of the Canary Islands, a long time ago, there was a huge piece of the Canary Islands that just broke off and slid into the sea. And they say that that was the cause of one of the last big tsunamis that the east coast of the United States had seen. This wave that generated across the ocean coming from the Canary Islands. Now, these tsunami waves, I do not believe, are going to make it out of the Mediterranean, out of, through the Straits of Gibraltar and out into the ocean to cause any problems. I believe the more serious problems are going to be right there uh, you're talking the immediate coastlines adjacent and around this volcano in the Mediterranean. But all you can do if you live in an area like this is have a plan. It may not even happen in our lifetimes. It may. But what you need to have is a plan, especially for someone that lives in a coastal town or city that uh, is in a region that could have some activity like this. Seismic activity, volcanic activity, underwater volcanic activity which is something that I think people are overlooking. I honestly believe that we haven't seen that yet at full scale. I believe it's coming. I believe there's going to be a volcanic eruption underwater that's going to cause some issues. And it's only going to be a matter of time before that happens. Best guess? Well... The Ring of Fire is definitely a hot spot for volcanic activity all the way around, even off land and in the oceans. But you can't forget about that Atlantic Ridge as well. Anything could happen there. That is that is the dividing point. That is where everything is separating right there in terms of the middle of the ocean when it comes to the Atlantic. And then we have the massive plate in the Pacific that's basically molten on, on the ocean floor that is just breaking up constantly off the coast or to the east of New Zealand. But a massive underwater eruption, I believe, is definitely going to happen in the offing. And in terms of this, well, nothing to get freaked out over. But anytime I see something like this, it just reminds me, you better have a plan if you live in a region like this. And uh, it's interesting to note that this thing is shifting about a half an inch a year, and it's sliding toward the sea. Gonna leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.